Hey guys, I'm Helen Castillo from Project Runway and I'm here today with Mood Society to teach you guys how to sew straight lines, curves, and corners. So let's get started. Things to know before you get started. You always wanna double check that your machine is threaded properly, that your bobbin is set in properly. Your needle shouldn't be dull and your tension and stitch length are adjusted depending on what type of fabric you're sewing. Using a square of muslin fabric or a non-stretch woven with a contrasting thread is really great practice because you can see exactly where your stitches are. There's no need to tug on the fabric. The feed dogs will do the work for you. Your hands are your ultimate guide, so be sure that when you're sewing, you keep your hands clear of the needle. Now we'll be getting into sewing straight lines. The tools you'll need are fabric scraps or fabric squares, fabric shears, fabric chalk or a marking tool, a clear ruler, magnetic sewing guide, and styling tape, which on the Mood website is called draping tape. Tips for sewing straight lines. Line up the right edge of your fabric with the right edge of the presser foot. Be sure that your presser foot is lowered before you start sewing. The needle plate on the machine has common measurements for seam allowances, which you can use as a guide. For wider seam allowances, you can use draping tape on your machine as a guideline. Another awesome tool is a magnetic sewing guide. You can place this right onto the needle plate to keep your fabric in place. Now that we're gonna be sewing our corners, you're gonna to wanna to be using one extra tool. This guy is the point tool. It helps push out your corners after they've been sewn. With sewing corners, I'm gonna use the right side of my presser foot as a guide. I'm gonna do a regular stitch. And once I get to the corner, I'm gonna use the wheel to turn by hand so that I can have the needle straight into the fabric, lift the presser foot and pivot. Once you've sewn your corner, we're gonna take our fabric shears and we're gonna clip either side of that corner on an angle. We're gonna turn the fabric right side out. And with your point tool, you're gonna push the corner out. When using this tool, you wanna to be sure not to press too hard because you will poke a hole through the corner of your fabric. You'll run over to the iron, give it a press, and you'll have a nice, crisp corner. Tips for sewing curves. Now that we have our mark on our muslin, we are going to drop the fabric underneath the presser foot. You wanna use a shorter stitch so you have more control when you're sewing along that line. Your hands are your guide. Don't forget that while your fabric is being pulled through the machine, your hands are guiding it along the line that you've created. Now that I've finished sewing my curved line, I'm going to clip into my seam allowance and flip it to the right side. Taking my fabric shears, I'm going to trim along my curved edge. Now that you're clipping your notches, you wanna be sure that you do not clip any closer than 1 8 of an inch from your sewing line. After you've clipped your notches, if you feel courageous, you can cut away from this seam allowance a little bit more. Now that we've cut the notches and we've trimmed away at our seam allowance, we can flip this to the right side. What I like to do when I'm sewing curved lines is roll both sides of the fabric. By rolling both sides of the fabric, you get a nice clean edge. 
And once you've done that, you can run over to the iron and give it a good pressing. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. I hope you guys learned a lot about sewing straight lines, curves, and corners. If there's any comments, feel free to leave them below. This is Helen Castillo from Project Runway for Mood Society, signing off.